hello friends welcome to my channel today i am going to show you how to convert a jar file into an exe file using jsmooth application so let's get started first i was i will uh, click on this jsmooth app app and now just show uh, see this after clicking you can see that this types of interface first you just click on skeleton you can see here skeleton and just click on this skeleton these types of interface is open after clicking skeleton and just skeleton selection in which it one a drop box you just click on this after click this uh, four to five option is uh, here console wrapper windows wrapper custom web download wrapper so just you which type of application uh, here so here is my application is windows wrapper so i was click on this windows wrapper windows wrap so just i am click now in below your skeleton properties you just select a url launch java app in exe process and go to next step executable options is here you just select this executable option here is a, an executable setting you just uh, first option for your exe file output where we want to create this exe file just i was browse this path for this exe i want to store my exe file in desktop so i was create any name i was right here is result dot exe don't forget about extension with exe so and just execute icon here you can uh, icon image in any format just a png or jpg don't get uh, use a dot ico extension because it doesn't work for this application so i was uh, take app dot jpg image you can see this app dot jpg so just uh, select this image after this select image you can show this image so this uh, below you don't want to do anything and just go to another either new uh, application options and just click on this application options uh, you can get this this type of interface in interface you want to first uh, import a jar file so just click first you just create use an embedded jar file in checkbox just click it after clicking just browse your jar file here want to store it so just uh, uh, i was store in jar file in desktop so you can see this result dot jar file so this result dot jar file i was clicking this result dot jar file after this select it after selected uh, you just go above and just uh, check application setting in application setting you just see this main class main class and application argument you just select a main class <coughs> and browse it so you just class selector so this uh, this option is <coughs> available classes is uh, shown here so just click on available classes after click available classes you just uh, see this all your class file in your application you just select uh, your first main class application file so just uh, your main class application is my here is first you just see this first is my main class so just I am clicking on this first uh, and just select it after this selector 
just don't don't want to do anything and just uh, you just select and save it here is a <coughs> you can see this above here is a save options save so just click on save <coughs> and save it on desktop or anywhere I will give name any name so I just test or just save it and uh, just click on this option you can see this this option and just uh, select it uh, just click on here you can see this <coughs> starting compilation and just oral and last you see this saving dot saving exe and done so just uh, click on done and just check out on this desktop i was checking in i'm che uh, sorry i'm checking in desktop so just uh, see this in desktop here is my dot exe file is created so let's check out it's working or not so this is my dot exe file you can see this so this exe file so hope you like it and just like and subscribe thank you